These are emus, Emma Mae and Marshall Mathers. They were a surprise birthday present. I had two emus on my back porch. In a kennel. Still not sure where they came from. Go back, have a wash. Oh, you loved it. Oh, you loved it. Grandparents had a horse farm when I was growing up, and then they they moved to the city when I was young. But then my aunt has a horse farm, and I've always loved animals. Kyla loves animals. Come, what are you doing? What are you doing? Leave it. I'm sorry. I know. I just think that everything happens for a reason, and I believe that God gave me these children for a reason, and He trusted them to me. Our family's had a lot of bad, bad shit happen. You know, we've had a lot of generational trauma. Don't do it. And I feel like together, the kids and I are, are breaking the cycle and healing it. We're not perfect, I'm not perfect. You know, sometimes I have to say, Mom, mommy needs a five minute time out. And I have to like go in my room and like hyperventilate. <laughs> I can't think of a more worthy, way to spend my life like these this is my life now fighting is what i do but this is my life this is the number one thing to me today is my middle child's first basketball game I just got back from Utah. I was gone for four days there. I leave in two days, so just being here and spending time with the family is extremely important to me. I said wrestling is what real men do during basketball season. Honestly, though. Let's go, Kaden! Let's go watch this game. Go, Kaden, let's go! At the state wrestling tournament, they had a wrestling bingo certain things you, and you get your bingo, right? Find this. One of the things on the bingo was find the Emery mom cheering. I think it was the collared mom. Find the collared, the collared mom, mom cheering mom, for the Emery team. collared mom. That was my mother. Me. I was a booster, you know. Yeah! We're a family of all boys. I was a wrestler, so as much as I love coming and watching basketball, you know, I got to knock them a little bit for not wrestling, but. The baby, I'm gonna make him wrestle. You don't have a choice. <laughs> the other day we were at the gym and I was kicking the bag. Ow! Ah, ah, and he runs up and he's all, ah! Kicks it. <laughs> that was a good move, dude. Well, we're up 20 to 4, I so I think we're rebounds. doing all right. Um, I'd like to see Cade use the backboard. I've been telling him that for three years now. Four? He got like five steals, though. No, eight. Eight, eight guys. I saw six. Nice job. They are at DK Fitness in Miami. Work with Coach Dieter. Uh, you've seen him at Kill Cliff, but he also has his gym down here in Miami. It's awesome. Time! Glove up, wrap your hands, put your gloves on. When I first started working with him, I said, don't, don't train me easy, don't coach me easy, like, just train me hard and push me, and he always has. Like, he's super honest with me. He doesn't care if I've had the best day. Like, I've had really good practices. Like, you didn't dominate like I needed you to dominate. It doesn't, it doesn't matter, so. Every single day, we've just sharpened up our skill set. That's boxing, it's MMA striking. And uh, when I asked him to work with me, he said he's only here to build world champions. So if you're not here to be that, then he wouldn't work with me. Jab, cross, hook, cross, hook. <laughs> Impa's a very well-rounded striker. Good kickboxing, good boxing. Ah, there you go. He's good on the clinch. He's really good everywhere. I think it's a great matchup for him. I think he's more explosive. I think he's a better athlete. Power! Bring those hands back on defense. Power! I think he's faster, more powerful. I like the matchup for us. Get your feet involved. There we go. Hips! Hips! Time! Everybody, get, a, get your own bag. Impa, you're on this bag now for the next two rounds. There we go. We, got, we do our work and we get out. 
I started working with Impa almost two years ago. It's kind of cliche to say, but it's like a diamond like that you just had to polish. And you just had to gain his trust. And I feel like that's the biggest thing because he was, he was very good when I met him, you know? It's like, so it was just staying on top of him, you know, like going over the basics and everything else took care of itself. So this afternoon we're gonna to go to this uh, little inlet. I think it's just good to just go give a little walk, go see some waves, hit some rocks, and uh, just call it a night, man. You know, nothing too excited in a fighter's life. You know, only until I win that million, then we'll get some good excitement going. <laughs> Fight night. Um, you're gonna feel all sorts of ways. There's all these feelings, man. You're excited, but you're weird. You're, you're, you might be a little sad, you might be a little scared. You're gonna be a lot scared, to be honest with you. But you, but my dad likes to say, you walk into the locker room and um, there's a bunch of ghosts in there. And as a fighter, you have two options. You let these ghosts scare the shit out of you and, and you try to fight these ghosts back. Or you walk in there like you own the place. And you tell these guys, let's rally up. You guys are coming with me. You're gonna feel that feeling of, there's a fire in my chest. I can't believe I'm doing this. This is insane. What am I thinking? It's the greatest feeling ever. That's how you should feel when you crush your dreams, right? Sometimes you can't even believe it yourself until you're doing it. So usually, I'll start all the way down over there. I, I stop here for a second. I appreciate, appreciate this beautiful moment. Watch the waves crash. It's man, it's awesome. It's awesome. I'll do some shadow boxing here. I always get every once in a while, hey man, you look like a fighter, you know? And uh, I let them know about my fight <laughs> so they could tune in. <laughs> when the sport wasn't big, but my dad loved it. And look at me, you know, I'm following his steps and the sport's bigger than ever. You know, I'm super blessed. MMA has uh, blown up to the point where I'm changing my life, you know, fighting. This is a great, great feeling. <laughs>